Good morning, everyone. My name is Sunil Khandekar. I run Nuage Networks from Nokia, an internal SDN venture. Um, this morning, uh, I want to give you my predictions for 2020. I want to give you two specific predictions, and a consequence of the two will be my third prediction. Um, in 2019, we have seen a lot of traction for SD-WAN. We have uh, engaged with so many service providers in all three theaters uh, across the globe. And as a result, we have uncovered several use cases. As we start to look at 2020, what we see is SD-WAN, first and foremost, become a predominantly a service uh, that is uh, provided uh, to the enterprises by the service providers as a service that's a managed service offering rather than DIY. That's number one. Um, enterprises, they care about control, they care about visibility, they care about end-to-end -end security of their service that they're getting, um, that means, and that translates to self-service nature, but that doesn't equate self-managed. And this is where service providers have a great opportunity to provide that um, service that is a fully managed service offering. Number two, we expect that as divan starts to become from a very tactical cost savings connectivity, network connectivity platform to a more strategic network innovation platform. Uh, SD-WAN allows, and, and a pure play SD-WAN network platform will allow enterprises to not only connect branches together, but also have ability to have a multi-cloud connectivity, uh, have the ability to avail value-added services, whether from the branch or from uh, the cloud. And this is where the interplay of SDDC, Software Defined Data Center, and Software Defined WAN becomes critically important. In fact, Gartner is calling this as a new category, Secure Access Service Edge. And that again is all about having the ability to have network automation end to end from the branch to any application in any cloud. And we feel that at Nuage, we have a great advantage in having done pure play SDN uh, end to end. So number three, uh, as a consequence of the first two, what we will see is a consolidation in the market. Uh, it's an incredibly crowded market. There are 60 plus vendors claiming to be SD-WAN vendors. And the issue for enterprises is to sort through and understand which vendor actually is going to provide them that capability to connect users everywhere to their applications in any cloud quickly, securely, and in a highly automated way. And what we have in the industry is vendors who are X first and SD-WAN second. X being WAN optimization, X being firewall, X being legacy branch routers. And that has created a lot of confusion in the market. The first two predictions, if they come through, and we are quite confident that they will, what we will start to see is more narrow focus on exactly the value that SD-WAN provides at the end of the day. Um, so that's what uh, we, we expect to see in 2020.